As the Earth rotates through one revolution, we can see the on an equator traces out a circular path to the radius equal to the radius of the Earth, which is 6.38 times 10 to the 6. Times 10 to the 6 meters. And what is that? That's the radius of Earth. Okay? Then, um, say, what is the average speed of the person in A meters per second and B miles per hour? All right, so we're looking for speed, so we are, is this path dependent or not path dependent? Not, not. Oh, it's a speed. Speed is distance over time, so it is path dependent. Okay, in other words, the path that we take as we go all the way, look at down at Earth and we go all the way around the circle. This is Santa Claus right here, okay? So if we're looking from the South Pole Earth, we go in this direction, but that's just confusing. All right, so we want to know what the speed is. Well, we know the distance is going to be uh, the circumference, 2 pi r. That's the circumference at the, um, at the equator, right? All right, so what, uh, we're missing something. We're missing something. All right, wait, we want speed. Wait, let's talk about we want speed in two different, two yeah. different units. It was um, meters per second and miles per hour. All right, so those are two different ones. How are we going to figure out how long it is? I mean, the, the amount of time. 24 hours. All right, yeah, because it goes all you go all the way around in a day, right? All right. So, in other words, our velocity—it's not our velocity. I'm going to write it as speed because I don't want us to get confused. So, speed is going to be equal to our distance over the amount of time, or our delta t. But we're going to start measuring at zero, right? So, our distance is. 2 pi r and our time is one day. Got that? So now I'm going to have to be some factor label jazz going on. All right, so 2 pi r, 2 pi times radius of earth, 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters divided by one day. And the first thing we need is, first answer we wanted in meters per second. So we're going to have to factor label this. All right, um, I'm going to shortcut it just a little bit in the interest of time. One day is equal to 86,400 seconds. It's 84,600. No, I'm just kidding. 86,400. Remember, live like you're dying. You guys remember that old song from a few years ago? All right. So we got, uh, we do all that math calculator brigade. Bash this out for me. This is seconds down here. Sorry, the whole point was the units. So notice we're going to have meters per second at the end. So we get 2 pi times 6.38 times 10, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So 10 to the second divided by 8.64, right? You see, I just condensed those, uh, the uh, scientific method you, uh, factors of 10 there. All right, so we got 2 pi, that's around 6, so about 3 quarters of that should be somewhere around 4.1. 400? Nah, more than that. Go ahead. Four point what? Six three nine times what? Ten to the second, right? That's hundreds of meters per second. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Uh, because this was ten to the six up here, and this is eight point six four times ten to the fourth. So I just divided by eight point six four. Would it be easier if I wrote it out? Yes? All right. Sometimes I do too many steps at once. All right. So I just did that's equal to 2 pi 6.38 times 10 to the 6 over 8.64 times 10 to the 4th. Okay? And then I just can't put those down. I distilled that and got a 4. Okay? And that's all in, obviously, this is going to. Yes, sorry. Sorry, I took away from it. Thank you. All right, and meters per second, meters per second, and that is meters per second. Okay, so that's the speed in meters per second. Now what do we got to do? To do part two, what do we have? Miles per hour. All right, we need it in miles per hour. So now I would go back to our original information rather than taking a number we've already calculated and then calculating again with that because you take it under your calculated with, you do more calculations, what happens? 
Accuracy. You, you increase your error, let's say it that way. Okay, so you lose accuracy is, a, is an appropriate way of saying it. But let's say it the other way. All right, so zip. Did he do dog? All right. We now want the same thing. Speed, we want it converted to, we want it in miles per hour. All right, so now what we have is 2 pi times 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters divided by one day. So now what factors are we going to need? All right, I'm going to give you one second. Come on. All right, pull this down. I'm just going to move this over here. So we've got room to put our conversion factors in there, all right? So that's equal to what are our conversion factors? One day, we need to get that to hours, right? For miles per hour? Right, so a day is equal to 24 hours, and we need to know how many meters are in a mile, don't we? 1609 is correct, so 1,609 meters per mile. Now our units are going to cancel out, we're going to have everything that we want. Day, day, not everything, I still don't have a portion. Meters, meters, so we'll have miles per hour. All right, oh, 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 2 pi times 6.38 times 10 to the 6 divided by 24 times 1,609, and the units are miles per hour. That should be R there. All right, so miles per hour. So calculator brigade, crunch it out there. There's six, so one fourth of that's nah, going to be too much. What do we got? It should be around a thousand. One thousand forty, one oh four zero miles per hour. Okay, so that's our average speed. Now, is that our average speed here at Langley High School? Yes or no? No, why not? What's that? We're not at the equator. So are we going faster or slower? Faster because it's a shorter. All right, stop. We're going to do this in a new recording. Recording.